What is up guys? So this was a recent 1631 solo I did of Lost Skulls. Thought I would just do a little voiceover and uh, commentate on the run so it's not so quiet and boring. Let me know down below if you like it and I can do that with more of my runs. But I'm um, starting off, it's pretty boring. I tried a new tactic there where I tried to kill the first one with the um, broom instead of the stool and it was not working for me. First act's pretty boring, just trying to run around as quickly as you can. Also, those swashers can get real annoying real fast. You have to be extremely careful. Especially with as many frames as this game is dropping right now. Uh, you get a frame drop at just the wrong time, and that sword is going straight through your block. And that's extremely irritating. knock these guys out. Also fun fact if you didn't know walking through to the next axe restores the durability of your weapons so now these pans are at full durability again. Walk and dodge, walk and dodge. Bonk. That guy fell down, slowed me down quite a bit, trying to get back up. Wasn't having it, so I had to run over here. Wasted a good few seconds doing that. Jug stuck to my finger, almost hit the floor. <laughs> Been killed by that many a times. And then that guy takes off running for some ungodly reason. Oh, he's back. Now used to, um, they've recently changed it. You could take out this whole upper area here, just take out this jugger there, and the bottlers that spawn in the stairwell there, you didn't have to deal with them. But uh, that is no longer the case, so you have to come down here and spawn them and kill them before you can move on. Costs a few extra seconds. Bar battle is so much easier in walk. I mean, walk makes all the quests just so much easier. It's a double-edged sword. You can get better speed runs, but at the same time, it almost feels like you're cheating. Because you really don't have to do anything. You just keep walking and nothing can hit you. Epic jug grab while I'm falling. Once you take out those three, you'll spawn the upper level. So you gotta be ready to dodge them. As soon as that happens. And moving on. Way behind. I was way behind. Um, I was at least 15 seconds behind some of my other runs. This is one of the most beautiful levels in the whole game. You get lucky. I got one there. You can take those guys out as they're spawning because they start spawning right there at the top. Take out that guy because he can hit you. The other one can't. He's just kind of annoying. Go ahead and get him while I'm waiting on the bridge to fall. And this is by far the hardest part on my back. Staying crouched down behind this. Try not to get shot and taken out everything. God, it's a pain. Luckily, everything cooperated pretty well.
That one shot took out pretty much everything. Beautiful. Oh, the hand was much better. I agree, my dude. This part sucks a little bit more on walking because yeah. you actually have to wait until the curtain gets okay. high enough so you can get under it. Teleporting, you can just go straight through. Uh, but again, port plunder, walking versus teleport. Walking is just so easy. I mean, you could literally take a nap and wake up with an S rank because all you have to do is strafe. Also, I had a ton of headshots this run. It was really nice. Except for that one. Ignore that one. Don't know what happened there. Looked like it went straight through his head. I actually stay back here because I think he's still alive. And I don't want him to kill me. I find out here in a second that, uh... He actually fell in the water, so. Still being a little cautious. I guess he fell into the water. Peeking around them boxes. You don't see him, so just keep moving. Name of the game is just to keep moving forward, non stop, and mowing them down. Headshots are your best friend. That makes that so much easier. Felt like I could really speed up this part of the run, like a lot. I could probably shave a whole minute off just in this last section here. Just got to get a little bit more courageous. Also, you got those juggers up in the tower now. I used to not have those. Take that much more time out of your speed runs. See, here I am playing chicken over here. And now I realize I'm starting to waste a lot of time, so I start trying to make up for that time and missing a lot more shots also in this section I don't know if it would be faster to bring in some jugs uh, I really don't think so because you'd have to get up that tower to grab them so oh, this part sucks. indeed it does I mean, I guess I could do it, but... That's me talking to myself about exactly what I was just talking to you guys about. Just feel like it's more trouble than it's worth. I think maybe if you could take one, or maybe not even one, you could just hop down here, let him walk up to the edge behind you. He's going to be throwing the coconut bombs down, which will be real fun to mess with. But you could probably just get two of those jugs here and there and toss them up. Had a pretty decent little jungle section here. Lots of headshots, more than I normally get. Except for that one. So we bowl with the jug. Try and grab this gun before he gets to me with that sword. That was a little nerve wracking. He almost got me. Really? Then I had one coconut blast the other coconut off into only God knows where. And again, it happens. Wasted another good 15 seconds here, probably. Thought he missed. Then I get hung up on the stairs going up. Just pretty much everything going wrong that you could possibly have go wrong for a speed run. Like that miss there. Missed grabbing the jug so I could just throw it at him. So now you gotta wait for the coconut and then just stand there and wait for the door. Then I'm gonna miss this guy like 18 times. And then here's another part where I play chicken really, really badly. I should just be jumping up there and going all in. Now that I have a pretty decent run, I'm probably going to do that for the next ones. Try and get sub-15.
That guy's got his nice little uh, peeking hole he can shoot through. So you gotta be careful there. Think you're safe and he'll stick his gun right through that little crevice and pop you. Trying to take out both of these guys. One shot. Nope. Hit one of them though. You gotta try and stay away from them planks. You'll be grabbing them. Now for the dark. Worst part about walking in the caves is these little openings where the boxes are stacked. On teleport, you can just go straight through. Maybe in a little bit taller, I really have to <laughs> duck and try to get through there. Then I'm going to fall on one of these right there. Yeah. Not like I'm in a hurry or anything. Taking my time, see where I'm at as far as the current record. It's not looking good, and it wasn't. Not for the time I was going for. Back holsters make a huge difference here, too. Being able to walk in with a second flintlock helps a lot. Get nervous every time I see a swashbuckler, and I have to block him. I just I just know he's gonna go through. Thought that was beautiful. Nope, he's Are still alive. Serious? Come on. <laughs> I mean just stupid crap. It is. It's always stupid crap that ruins your runs, man. This guy's got a bad habit of the second you get down there, he'll point blank you with that bottle, so you gotta be real careful about him. Yeah. Then just dealing with these two bottlers and getting out of here. Get some flint locks for the next level. It's gonna help a lot. The only really big thing that's going to waste a lot of time being on walk mode, at least for me, I'll have to work on it a little bit. When you go to get the pieces, and you can come back up the way that you went down, but it's a lot harder on walk, and I feel like I'm going to waste a lot more time than I would just going the other way. So that's what I did this run. I think in the future, when I try to go for sub-15, I'm going to work on coming back up that way. Just a little bit harder in walk mode. So I'll go grab the pieces. And then when I have the pieces up here, they despawn. I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but I try to keep the pieces as close to me as possible. And that way, um, I can just quickly grab them and throw them back down so it resets that timer and they don't despawn on me and I have to go find them again. So grab them, drop them, make sure their timer resets. All the while trying not to get shot. Um, grab them again. So I feel like it's not very long. Like maybe yeah, 10 seconds. Yeah, so this is going to be like a 15 minute run. <laughs> you wish. You still wish. Wasn't on the platform. Another second or two gone. Uh, another spot that I'm going to have to work on. Um, probably just grabbing three guns and just coming up here and just going all out on them. I'm not really concerned about the cannon guys. They don't actually count as far as getting Ghost Beard to spawn in. So why I shot that guy is beyond me. 
Really trying to get that uh, three hits in as soon as he spawns in. Didn't manage it this time. He took off pretty fast. Did get two in, though. Hmm. Execution style. That's also really nerve-wracking when you got to point that cannon straight down in your own walk mode, trying to get out of there. Now we're just working back and forth, hoping and praying that we don't get killed while blocking. So what I was trying to do there, and failed to do, was get the cannon in position for his third approach. So when he when he comes down that third time, he'll spawn right in the center of the room. So that's really where you want your cannons to go ahead and just be pointed and be ready. And you're looking for three late spawning swashbucklers over there on that left side. There they are spawning in now. That's my cue to run over here, light this. Um, didn't have it in position like you should. Luckily it was a good shot because it's really going to be difficult if he gets a chance to start moving back and forth and shooting at you while you're trying to take out the last of the swashbucklers. Also if you're on walk it's a lot harder to get away from his cannon. You know if you take your eye off of him for two seconds you can't just teleport out of the blast zone. But yeah, that was the run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you liked the commentary. Uh, if you did, let me know down below. And be sure to like the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. It would just mean the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.